Hey everyone and welcome to another film time video. Some of the most difficult tasks in life revolve around money. People want a lot of it but with the least amount of work. Through that mindset, some people resort to stealing. And these kind of people are everywhere, even on your favorite TV show. On 90 Day Fiancé, a reality TV show on TLC, some couples have stolen or at least been accused of stealing from one another. A serious crime, already publicized through the show, could be a deal breaker for the couples. So who are these couples? And what do they do to warrant an accusation at each other? Let's find out in the topic of today's video, 5 couples who have stolen from the other on 90 Day Fiancé. Get ready, because you're about to see some of the most sneaky thieves. But before we begin, don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Now let's dive right in, starting with number 1. For number 1, we chose Lisa and Usman. Upon being paid some money for a cameo, Usman was told that he would receive $26,000 through PayPal since he lives the overseas or he could have this money mailed to somebody living in the United States. Usman decided to have the check mailed to Lisa, his wife at the time. Now Lisa, in the United States, has the money and is refusing to give it to Usman. This is pure theft, with Usman having had his funds stolen from him by his wife. This unbelievable behavior can be found on several social media platforms. For number 2, we have Angela and Michael. Angela is from Georgia and Michael is from Nigeria. After Angela visited Michael in his home country, she came back to the United States a couple weeks later. However, when she tried to use her credit card, she found that it was completely empty. She never used it, so she accused Michael of stealing several thousand dollars from her. This caused lots of complications in their relationship, as this sort of accusation is quite serious. At number 3, we have Danielle and Mohammed. These two have been infamous for causing lots of trouble on 90 Day Fiancé. However, when Danielle told Mohammed that she had lost her job a long time ago and had been using their funds, things got a lot worse. Essentially, Danielle has been stealing money from Mohammed without him knowing. This caused a massive rift in their relationship, and for good reason. For number 4, we chose Michael and Juliana. Juliana came from Brazil to make a life for herself with Michael in the United States. After having barely stayed in the States though, Juliana took Michael's credit card and proceeded to buy herself a car. Not only is such a purchase not considered smart because she has just come to a foreign country, but she bought the car using somebody else's money and without their permission. This is the definition of stealing and Michael can be understandably upset. But before we reveal our final pick, let us know down in the comments how you'd react if you found out that your significant other was stealing money from you. Would you be upset? Make sure to let us know and now onto our final pick with number 5. For number 5, we chose Ed and Rose. Ed and Rose are one of the most infamous couples on 90 Day Fiancé. They have been made into memes, and videos of them from the show have reached viewers who don't even watch the show. One day, Ed decides to visit Manila with Rose. Because he is not accustomed to the currency and how money works in Manila, Rose takes over his wallet and helps him when it comes to buying things from a local market that they both decide to go to. However, Ed is suspicious that Rose could be scamming him out of his money. This is because a couple days prior, Rose's sister had messaged Ed. She was asking Ed to send her some money because her business was not doing so well. There's even the footage of Ed talking to his daughter about the situation, and if this goes wrong, this accused stealing could end up in a very serious and complicated situation. So what did you think of our list? Which situation sounded the most messed up to you? On the other hand, which one sounded the least severe? Make sure to let us know down in the comments and tune in next time for another film time video.